Okay, the Gardner 8L3. I don't think it's a B, I think it's an 8L3 pre-B, um, but uh, I may be wrong. Uh, this is the crankcase of a mighty marine engine or loco engine. Um, I'm told this was uh, Admiralty pattern, uh, which means the crank was designed, they had a sort of left hand and a right hand engine, I think, in some of the early boats. Uh, and I know they use these in some of the early sort of patrol boats. However, um, as the war progressed, I think they put more powerful engines in like, you know, equivalent of Meteors or Merlins or whatever in them. Uh, this is about a 200 odd horsepower, but at about 1,000 RPM. Um, the full engine's about four tons. I think this weighs a good ton. Uh, and I've got a, uh, a drive shaft for it as well um, in the garage with a big pulley on the end of it. But the, um, you can see it's all been uh, wrapped in uh, wax rag. Uh, so hopefully some of those surfaces are okay. But the reality is that crank may need to be reground. But until you take it all apart, who knows? I bought it hoping that one day I'd be able to trace the heads for it. I did finally find where the heads were left, um, which was a place up in Liverpool. Um, but they'd been scrapped, they were frost damaged. Uh, so alas, uh, I put a few feelers out to see if I could get any barrels and heads, uh, but um, to no avail really. Uh, so hoping this will go to a good cause, like a railway club or uh, um, someone rebuilding an old boat that needs this. Um, but um, there it is. Uh, I don't want much for it. Uh, it owes me a few hundred quid. And obviously I spent quite a lot of money getting it high abbed over here. But, um, you know, I'm more interested in it going to the right person uh, before uh, I have to have it moved. Um, obviously I wouldn't scrap it. But, um, you know, it would be sad to see it go to a non-gardener use. Because um, uh, it could, you know, could potentially be upcycled into something else, I guess. I did think it would make quite a cool <laughs> big coffee table or something, but... I don't think my wife would approve um, and the weight of it you really would need it uh, in an industrial warehouse to take the weight not a domestic house but uh, it's still cool um, and uh, just the sheer size of the engineering of these things is typically gardener built to last absolutely categorically built to last lovely bit of kit <laughs>